This is Witchbase News for Friday the 14th of October 2022. I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous News this week there are now 5 Stargoids heading toward the bubble. How to get Babylon 5's Claudia Christian in your cockpit. There's free stuff up for grabs in Frontiers upcoming Halloween special livestream and more. If you enjoy our videos please do like and subscribe. Don't forget to click the little bell icon and turn on all notifications to ensure you see all our Elite Dangerous videos and posts. And if you'd like to support our work on this channel you'll also find our Patreon linked below. Community manager and livestream regular Zach Cocken who had been with Frontier working on Elite Dangerous for nearly 2 years now Announced this week that he's moving on to become a junior product manager at the Cambridge Developers. Zach's first product in his new role is the recently released F1 2022 manager. Good luck in your new role Zach and very best wishes from everyone here at the Burr Pit. What begun as an unusual discovery by one commander out in the black has rapidly turned into the latest must see location in Elite Dangerous. Commander Madante Soliest tweeted pictures of the discovery of an area on an ice world completely enclosed by 2 km high mountains likening its appearance to a huge walled settlement. The tweet was picked up by Elite Dangerous forum luminary and serial SRV racer Alec Turner who immediately headed to the planet and began searching for the colossal and very unusual structure. A little over 8000 light years from Sol the planet that hosts the structure is covered in similar looking sheer ice walls. However what was later to be named Ice Mordor by Commander Mitochondria is unmistakable when viewed from altitude and after a dedicated search Alec quickly rediscovered it. Since its rediscovery Alec has spent his time mapping an SRV time trial circuit around the inside wall of the gigantic enclosed wannabe ice settlement and uploading videos of his attempts to outdo his own timed lapse. You'll find a forum post linked below that details where to find Ice Mordor as well as the software Alec uses to monitor and time his lapse should you wish to visit it or perhaps replicate the antics yourself. And the Mordor Ice Rally Circuit has now even been officially recognised on the Galactic Exploration Catalogue of Community POIs which you'll also find linked below. Congratulations Commander Mardante. Quite the discovery. With Halloween just 2 weeks away as I speak these words the spooky season is beginning to get into full swing. With that in mind Frontier have said that next weeks Frameshift Live livestream on Thursday the 20th of October will be a Halloween themed special. Amongst the planned events for the livestream are spooky themed Twitch drops, themed in game prizes and community games as well as the usual segments on stellar screenshots, in game happenings and Galnet news. More details are likely to be available with the release of the regular Discovery Scanner community post from the team next week so watch out for that but currently the stream is planned for Thursday October the 20th between 1500 and 1700 UTC. It's almost certainly going to be a giggle with free free stuff to boot. HCS voice packs the makers of officially licensed often celebrity voiced audio packs for Elite Dangerous and many other games announced this week that their next release will be voiced by Claudia Christian. Claudia is perhaps best known for her betrayal of the feisty and stoic commander Susan Ivanova on the TV series Babylon 5 a show that I know is a huge favourite among many in the elite community myself included. The pack entitled Gamma simulates a decommissioned military AI and whilst not completely exclusively themed as such it seems to have a particular slant towards all things combat. Very appropriate for Claudia's Babylon 5 persona. Gamma is currently available for pre-order with an expected release aiming for some time in December. Claudia is known for bringing absolutely everything to the table with her many acting and voice over roles as well as being super active with her fanbase on social media. This should definitely be one to look out for. 
After another discovery by commanders late last week we can confirm that there are now a total of 5 unidentified interstellar anomalies headed at high speed toward the bubble. The original UIA or Stargoid as the objects have now collectively become known appeared shortly after the Thargoid like scream was heard after the detonation of the Proteus wave device in HIP 22460 a few weeks back. The object appeared to emerge from the permit locked cone sector roughly galactic south of the bubble. The cone sector which sits very firmly in the shadow of the huge ring like Barnard's Loop Nebula has long been suspected as a stomping ground at the very least of our aggressive galactic neighbours if indeed not the location of the Thargoid homeworld. Shortly after commanders began tracking the mysterious superluminal interloper two more stargoids appeared in the FSS scanner. If you sit quietly in supercruise from even a good few hundreds of light years away and monitor in the FSS scanner you can actually hear the stargoids approach. Target a system that they are near on the galaxy map, orient your ship and point towards the targeted star honk and then listen in the FSS and you should pick them up. The latest two stargoids appeared after we published the news last week and like their brothers and sisters they too are now headed at very high speed in the general direction of Sol. Canon Interstellar Research have created a stargoid tracking page on their website which you'll find linked below that will show on a 3D map of the galaxy where the stargoids are, where they've been and where their current trajectory will in broad terms take them. Right now Stargoid 1 is roughly about 1000 light years from Sol. It's difficult to give absolutely precise estimates but as things stand it looks as though the mysterious visitors will start arriving in the bubble in November. A guesstimate that makes sense as Frontier have promised another significant patch during November as well. The exact nature of the Thargoids is anybody's guess. The smart money at this point is very much calling Thargoid motherships or hive vessels as they are referred to in lore. References to these colossal alien ships are sprinkled into Elite Dangerous at various points but they've never yet been seen in action although it's long been suspected that the Thargoid surface installations are in fact crashed or landed hive vessels, perhaps left over from the first Thargoid war following the deployment of the mycoid bioweapon that drove the goopy green danger daffodils away. If indeed the stargoids are hive vessels then what they do when they arrive or how that arrival equates to gameplay really is completely unknown. We don't know how to cope or deal with one Thargoid mothership let alone 5. We are very much in the era of Odyssey now and Odyssey is, as we know, all about the on foot arena. And with that line delivered I'll leave your imagination to run riot with that particular nightmarish image. Will you be heading to check out Ice Mordor? Is Claudia Christian booked to be joining your ships for Christmas? And do you think we'll see any more Stargoids emerge from the inky blackness before then? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 0 7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.